Now, my work deals with what's referred to in all the sacred literature as the sound current. Now, we can go to the Judeo-Christian Bible, and it starts out inferring about it in John when it says, in the beginning was the Word. This Word is what we're talking about. But the Word that they go on to talk about is one that's defined as a human being. And the Word that we're talking about is the one that Jesus referred to when he said, no man know where the wind blows, where it comes and where it goes, because it's invisible. In fact, for a long time I thought the trees was what made the wind blow because every time they would move back and forward, the wind would be moving. And it, it took a long time for somebody to get through my head that there were no trees where there was dirt and there would be no trees around. And I said it was a different type of wind. Well, this work that I do is a different type of work. In us, all of us here, we have two commodities in common. One is the light of God, and the other is the sound of God. Those two together make up the Spirit of God, or the Holy Spirit. If we have one of them and we don't have the other one, we do not have a whole spirit, but we have partial spirit. Now, the work that I do, which is quite unique, I'm one of those who carries keys to the sound current. And once that sound current is stirred inside of you as a human being, it's already there, it's just resting, and you come and they hear that sound inside vibrate. They're connected. As soon as they're connected, they start regenerating their very being. They will start changing in front of you physically, emotionally, mentally, and they become a new creature. Here's the bad news. They often leave behind the old creatures they grew up with. Here's the good news. They're going into the heart of God. The energy of God is doing two things at this time on the planet. One force is going away, and the other force is coming back in. One is centrifugal, and one, the other is centripetal. Except here's the, the real funny thing about it. It just looks like one like this that's going away, and the other one coming up. The person coming back up is on their way back in. They've been to the outer frontier. And the other person's on their way back out getting all the experiences they can get. The soul's perfect. It's just inexperienced. So what it's doing is experiencing all of God's body. Now you might say, wait a minute. If I've got the sound current in me, why do I have to be initiated? Uh, sleep. It's just sleeping. I don't believe that. You're not for initiation. Just as I believe it, you're the one that's going. We select ourselves out of the mass of life to decide which way we're going. 